how to use chat GPT for business. So if you are starting a small business, no matter what it is, we live in a day and age now where we have a chat GPT that can literally help you launch any type of business. And I'm gonna actually go through a few examples of how you can leverage this AI and artificial intelligence software to literally help you launch a business from everything from a idea to marketing, to research, and everything else in between. So welcome to Marketing Food Online. It's Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. I've got my laptop open. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start and show you how I actually use ChatGPT. We have now able to, if you don't know too much about my business, I've got six e-commerce businesses. I've been online for 13 years. I have multiple YouTube channels where I teach uh, food entrepreneurship specifically, but being a small business owner, I do as well with my wife. Uh, we both do everything in our small business. So learning ChatGPT has alleviated a lot of that learning curve, even 13 years into being in the business. I'm always open for new ideas to help you launch, understand, and expand what we do. So aside from our six e-commerce businesses, we've been on Amazon for almost 10 years now. We've been on eBay for over a decade and Etsy as well. And then we operate several other um, websites that are affiliated with our marketing food online. Now, I have been able to use ChatGPT to actually help me create market research for products, uh, create digital downloads and uh, edit them and actually brainstorm topics and titles. So I've got this open here. So I want to start literally for beginners. So if you're looking to do this from scratch, I'm going to give you some tips and pointers on starting it. Now, AI, <clears throat> excuse me, open AI specifically has two types. Now they have a paid $20 a month service, which is what I do now. I pay for the service. You can get a free version of it as well. Now the free version is good. It's actually really, really good. But the paid version, to be honest with you, is really, really, really good. So uh, basically, you're going to come to the, the page here, chat open, um, open AI website. You're going to go to that. You're going to basically sign up. It's simply putting in your email. Now, I already have an account, so I'm just simply going to log in. But you're going to sign up by putting your email account in. You verify that. There we go. That's us. We're going to go ahead and continue. Get our password in. And then by simply doing that, check your email. Then from there, you can go back to the site and initiate your, uh, your, your service, whether it is a free service or the paid one. So there are three different types of models that you can go by. Now, the default is the ChatGPT 3.5, uh, which is what it's set at. That's also called the legacy. This was actually their first, uh, relatively first version, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on, on their uh, platform, allowing you to utilize their ChatGPT. But the GPT-4 actually is much more, of course, as it shows you here, the reasoning and concise, uh, conciseness is actually very, very high. Um, the speed, though, that's one thing that's kind of still lagging. Um, of course, my own opinion about it is that this resource is mind-boggling. So the speed that it's at right now, it probably won't be at that forever. You'll definitely have a much faster uh, chat GPT-4 version. I'm sure that's going to come out very soon. And I'll show you just in a minute what I mean by that. So Damien, how do I use it for my small business? You've talked about that. You talked about how to log in, create an account. So let's go over down here. Now, if you have an idea for a small business, and let's say you are creating a graphic design business, you can actually ask it. Um, the one thing I was going to tell you really quick, the way that you engage with the chat GPT, the prompts, they're actually called prompts. The way that you utilize your verbiage, the words you use in those prompts are going to be very, very ultra important. Let me go ahead and actually take, let me take this off really quick because you guys are getting a glare. Um, let me see if I can see what I'm doing here. So we actually have the specific prompts that you actually ask it. Now, based upon those prompts and what you're putting in as those words, it's going to be really key and ultra, ultra important. So if you want to, um, how do I launch? How do I launch a graphic, let's just say graphic design business? So if you have an idea for a business, like I said, you simply can ask it, how do I launch it? It's going to give you a detailed plan. If you're not an entrepreneur, if this is really, really the beginning stages, you may need kind of like a checklist of what to do to get it started. And again, you can do this literally, guys, with anything. If you're in real estate business, this can be handy. If you're in construction, this can be handy. If you're an electrician, this can be handy. Literally anything you do, this is going to help minimize and maximize the potential, minimize the amount of thought process for you because you don't have to brainstorm everything. This is a good starting point, but of course you want to take this information and expand on it. Now, if I have it, okay, so this gives me eight steps to kind of understand how to start a graphic design. Okay, how would you market this type of business? Again, you don't have to be a marketing genius. ChatGPT can do that for you. So you ask it, 
how do you market it? So once you establish to figure out the steps in which to launch a food uh, business or any type of business for that matter, then you want to go ahead and ask it, how do you market it? And this will give you build obviously a website, tapping into social media, networking with other professionals, referrals, creating blogs, collaborating with local businesses. These are great, again, for a beginner because it helps you brainstorm what are the processes. So how do I create a unique branded logo for this business. And again, it'll give you some ideas, some parameters on creating a logo. So these are the step-by-step -step processes for your small business, and it can lay out specifically a roadmap to help you understand where to go and how to do it. Now, let's get into some a little more technical things here. So let me go ahead and let that finish up. And again, it'll show you here. Creating a unique memorable logo includes the following. You want to research your competitors, take a look at what people are creating within your niche or within your industry. You want to sketch up some ideas, brainstorm ideas. You can even choose the type of typography, which is the style of the actual font and the text. Color is very important. See, so this goes through and gives you every, every little bit of processes of what you would need to do. So how can I create a website for my graphic design business. So this will, again, for a beginner, show you how and what you should put into the website, how you should design the website for your graphic design business or any business for that matter. And it goes through literally page by page, line by line, explaining to you the whole process. So utilizing the chat GPT and putting in the prompts or the questions, the one way to look at it is as if you're having a conversation with a robot that basically knows almost everything that you potentially need to know. So if you've got question after questions, you can do this. So here's another great thing. This is another great prompt. If you're looking to create a small business, can you list 20 questions I should ask myself before starting a, let me get that correct, you can actually ask it to ask the questions you need to ask yourself. So can you list 20 questions that I should ask myself before starting a graphic design business? So again, how do you brainstorm all that? So if I want to launch a business and I really have a passion for a certain niche or a certain thing or a product or service, but I really don't know the, the parameters of the business side of it, this can lay out a whole bunch of questions that you can ask yourself. So you would understand what would be expected or what you should know. So again, what are my goals for my business? You can ask yourself, what is your target market? What services will you offer? And so on and so on. Do I have a portfolio to showcase my work? So what kind of support will I need? Would you need cert certain freelance software? Do you want to go on Fiverr? Do you not understand how that works? You can understand the platforms that you can offer your services, whatever it might, might be. So now let's dive into something more specific based upon our actual channel here, our Marketing Food Online. If you want to launch a food business, but you're not just sure of what type of food business. I'm going to go through a few prompts that you can actually ask ChatGPT in order for you to understand it. Okay, can you list 40 food business ideas I could potentially start with, let's say, $2,000? So if you've got a certain budget and you want to start a food business of some kind, but you're trying to think to yourself, what could I do for $2,000? Because that's what I have available set aside. Click go, and this will list you in an entire list. Now, really quick to notice, this is the model chat GPT-4. As I mentioned before, it goes a little slower than the chat GPT 3.5 version. Um, the reasoning, I'm not really sure why, because it just, it does, but it is more specific, more concise, and more thoughtful in its actual answers of the questions that you ask it. So the one thing you want to think about is, <clears throat> as you go through here, if you have a cert certain parameters for your food business startup or your food startup, you have a certain budget, maybe you're doing it from home. Some of these limitations are things that you can actually type into ChatGPT and get some ideas about what you can do from home, utilizing that type of a budget. And after this finishes really quick, I'm going to show you how you can break down specifically um, a budget based upon the amount that you're making. So as you can see, it'll go through the whole list. I'm going to go ahead and stop generating real quick because here's what I want to do. Online bakery. Let me just grab this copy it. I'm going to put it down here. Now, I have a budget of 
$2,000. How can I start colon? Online bakery, creating website. There we go. So that is going to get started in explaining to you starting an online bakery with $2,000 budget is possible with the following steps. This thing will lay out the steps for that business. So you ask, how can I use ChatGPT for business? If you're looking to begin and start a small business, yet if you maybe already launched it and you're really stuck on marketing, maybe you're stuck on demographic understanding, uh, understanding your product, um, how to run a Facebook ad, anything you can imagine on how you can launch or expand that existing small business or start one from scratch, ChatGPT for business can literally help you do that. And these are very simple prompts. We're going to have a handful of other videos if you want. If this is our first video, definitely hit the subscribe button. We're going to expand specifically on certain niches and businesses and explain to you some of the prompts that you can put in for those businesses to help you launch them. So this will go on literally and explain how starting an online bakery for $2,000 works, giving you budget allocations, developing your recipes, legal requirements, and so on. And when you want specific answers to even these questions, you simply copy and paste that and ask it to expand. So for instance, develop your recipes, test the perfect recipes, making sure your products are consistent with quality. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna stop generating, and I'm gonna put expand on this so I fully understand how this works. Go ahead and paste it and then hit go. Now, that's that question within this parameter here, starting an online business, uh, selling baked, baked goods for $2,000. You can go through each one of these and expand it and ask it to be more specific, not just general or vague. And this right here will be all about developing your recipes and it give you step by step on how to do that. Again, any type of small business, ChatGPT can be a huge asset for you. So if you have any more questions about this, let us know down below. And I'll see you guys in our next video about ChatGPT.